cost concepts and cost allocation in managerial accounting. We've been talking about working under normal costing. And you'll remember that normal costing means on your work in process, you show actual materials, actual labor, but you use applied or an estimate for overhead costs. And those overhead costs, that estimate, shows up as a debit in work in process inventory, and it shows up as a credit in overhead. We've also talked about that when um, you incur those actual costs of overhead, they show up on the debit side. So at the end of the period, you've got this overhead account that debits are actual, credits are what you applied or estimated overhead to be. So we're going to end up with a balance. Now, if that balance turns out to be a debit balance, that means your actual overhead costs were more than what you applied. So did you apply enough or not enough? That made sense. What this means is you under-applied. And you under-applied because your actual overhead costs exceeded what you applied. Now, if you under-applied, that has a dilemma. We have promised our financial investors that we would tell them the truth on our income statements. In other words, that cost of goods sold shows actual materials, actual uh, labor, and actual overhead. Well, if we're under normal costing at the end of the period, what cost of goods show, sold shows is actual materials, actual labor, but what applied overhead. So what we have to do as part of our closing entries is adjust that cost of goods sold account so it reflects actual overhead because all the bills are now in and I can do those beautiful financial statements. So if I've got a debit balance in overhead and I'm going to close that or adjust cost of goods sold so it will show the actual amount, let's see how that works. Here we've got cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold has this balance in it. Remember, it's actual materials, actual labor, and applied overhead. I've got a debit balance here. What am I going to do? Well, my closing journal entry for under applied will be as follows. Let's see, I want to zero it out. So I'm going to debit cost of goods sold, and I'm going to credit overhead. So that's the entry. Now let's just uh, put some numbers here so it'll make a little more sense. What if actual overhead was say a thousand dollars and applied was nine hundred and fifty dollars? That means we under applied or had a balance of fifty dollars. If that's the balance then the closing entry would be debit cost of goods sold fifty dollars credit overhead $50. By making this entry and then posting this entry, does cost of goods sold go up? Yes. So if cost of goods sold goes up, am I now showing actual overhead? Okay, let's try the credit side just to make sure we've got it. So going back to my overhead account, we said on the debit side, is actual. On the credit side is the amount you applied. Say now that the actual was still a thousand dollars, but we applied eleven hundred. So if that's the case, my balance then is a credit balance, and I overdid it, didn't I? I over applied. And I over applied by a hundred dollars. So tell me how we will close that to cost of goods sold. Well, since it's a credit balance, to close it, I will debit overhead for $100, and I'm going to credit cost of goods sold $100. Looking at my cost of goods sold account, remember it has a debit balance that includes actual materials, actual labor, and applied overhead. By making this entry and posting it, 
Am I reducing my ending balance and cost of goods sold? Yes. And I'm reducing it so that this final balance and cost of goods sold has the actual cost of both materials, labor, and overhead.